All right, Dwight, we're ready now for the women's 400-meter hurdles next event here in the Atlantic Grand Prix. And the lane assignments have Russell Buchanan in lane one, Smith of Ireland in lane two, Williams, Tanya Buford Bailey, Dion Hemming, Sandra Farmer Patrick, Tatiana Tereschuk, and Tracy Mattis. See, all that figure skating coverage helps. <laughs> lane four, Tanya Buford Bailey was second at the World Championships last summer in Gothenburg, Sweden, and in that race, she broke the current world record that was held by Sally Gunnell of Great Britain and also the American record that was held by Sandra Farmer Patrick who is in this race. Sandra Farmer Patrick coming back after giving birth to her first child was just nipped off the team by Trevia Williams. There is Dion Hemmings who also ran an excellent race last year, ran a PR of 53.48 at the World Championships for a bronze medal. It was such a fantastic and fast race. Nobody expected it to be anything because there's Sandra Farmer Patrick in 93. She broke the current world record, but was second place to the woman from Great Britain. Nobody thought the race was going to be anything last year. Two women under the world record. This is going to be an interesting race. So Buford Bailey in lane four, Hemmings in lane five, Farmer Patrick in lane six. Expected to be the first three of the finish line. Now again, we're missing. Kim Batten, the world record holder, who is also American. So that means there are four women in America who have an excellent shot at the team. There's Buford Bailey, probably the favorite here on the fact of her excellent season last year. Trivia Williams in lane three was the one who nipped Sandra Farmer Patrick off the team. I'm sure Buford Bailey would love to have a fast time here on the Olympic track and get one up on Kim Batten. Dion Hemmings of Jamaica running in lane five is also in the race. Farmer Patrick, you see her flying down the back stretch. Well, every once in a while, what you have to do is stay within your race because Dion Hemmings may be going out too fast. Buford Bailey is moving up very well. Sandra Farmer Patrick looks good at this point, though. Saw Tracy Mattis of the United States, the former Wisconsin All-American, fall in the third turn. Here's Sandra Farmer Patrick has the lead with one hurdle to go. Dion Hemmings running second, and Buford Bailey is third. Hemmings is coming on, but Sandra Farmer Patrick will hold her off. Well, I'll tell you, that's Sandra Farmer Patrick looking like the old Sandra Farmer Patrick with a great sprint down the home stretch. And I think one thing that really hurt Sandra Farmer in the last couple of hurdles is she does not have very good hurdle form. And what happens is she almost comes to a dead stop and she jumps over the last hurdle. Okay, she will take 54.18, which is the fastest time in the world right now, and that says that Sandra is on the track back to where she was, which was the American record holder. Now we watched the last turn, Sandra Farmer Patrick out well, Dion Hemmings on her shoulder right there, and Tanya Buford Bailey, who has very good form over the hurdles because she's a, va a very fast 100-meter hurdler. Stuttered a little bit right there. When you stutter step, you're losing speed. Sandra runs over that hurdle very well, and that is why she's staying out. Now watch right here how her arms get a little bit flingy right there, and you see Dion Hemmings trying to come up on her, but look at Sandra's arms. Look at her form. She stays up, and she keeps turning over to get the win. And at the age of 33, Sandra Farmer Patrick with the fastest time in the world wins the women's 400 meter hurdles at the Atlantic right. Grand Prix. First event ever held in the stadium. It opened today, 62 days away from the Olympic Games. Welcome back to Atlanta. The first event held in the Olympic Stadium, the Atlanta Grand Prix, and the results of the women's 400 meter hurdles. Sandra Farmer Patrick wins it over Dion Hemmings with Tanya Buford Bailey finishing third. Fastest time in the world this year. Let's check in with Craig Sager. Well, Sandra, did you expect to win this race today and to have the best time in the world? Well, I wanted to win, but I didn't expect to win. 
I'll cover the place in the top three. For the fastest time in the world, ooh, that's good. Pretty, pretty good job for the mom, huh? Yeah. I mean, I've been winning so far in motherhood, but not on the track in the last year, so this is a very encouraging race for me. A year ago when Kim Batten and Tanja Buford Bailey set world records in that great race of the world championships, you were back home doing your motherly duties. What went through your mind? And did you think about that as far as your comeback? Oh, most definitely. Actually, I was in Stuttgart watching the race when it hit it. I was in dis disbelief. My body was just shaking like, oh, my God. It didn't even look that fast. And not only that, I had to run against them the later half of the season. It was, every race I went into, it was like, let's see how far they're going to beat me. But, <laughs> and so now, to be in the front, I'm just really grateful. I thank the Lord for that. Great job. Let's go back to Vern. Oh, that's terrific. Thank you, Craig, very much.